Hello, my name is Markus Dessinger. I would like to give you a short overview about the AutoCAD mechanical add-in in Vault Professional. I have opened a new document in AutoCAD to do a simple design. The first thing I want to show is what happens when I save the document. This dialog lets me select the numbering scheme that I have defined in Vault. I select the folder where I want to save my drawing with the file name that is generated from Vault. In the browser file reference I can see Vault information of the document. This icon shows me that the file is not checked into Vault. Let's design a simple console. I insert a rectangle which is my plate. I draw another rectangle, which is my ground plate. Now I want to add information for the bill of material. I create a part reference for the plate. I type in plate and the dimensions. And I redo it for the ground plate. Let's have a look how the bill of material is handled in AutoCAD. Here I can see the two positions, the plate and the ground plate. I also want to add a title border. I select the metric border, insert the border and give in a description. You can see that the description is shown in the title border. Then I finish the command. The star at the document name in the browser indicates that the file is not saved. I save it and check it in into Vault. Now I can switch to Vault. I can see the document now in Vault. In the Uses tab I can see the document too. If I would have external references in the file I could see them in the Uses tab now. For example this file has XREFs, which are visible here. When you are working with XREFs in AutoCAD, the structure is built up in Vault when that WIG file is checked in. But let's go back to the console that I have designed. Like for Inventor and Office documents, there's a preview. Here I can pan, zoom, and I also can measure. But now I want to rename the title in Welded Console. Therefore, I added the property in the wizard. I changed the field title to Welded Console. To see whether the property is written back, I open the file. The message whether I want to check out the file is configurable so I don't need to see it every time. The title is written back to the title block. When I close the file, I get prompted whether I want to check in the file. Also, this dialog is configurable. Let's go back to Vault. In the preview, I can also see the new title. Now, I want to assign an item to the document. This I do to transfer the bomb to an ERP system later on. A wizard leads me through the creation of the items. I can use a numbering scheme for the item number that I have defined in Vault. All items follow the numbering scheme now. Now I can rename the title to Welded Console. In the next step, 
I can double check the item creation before I finish the dialog. With go to item a dialog appears. As the document is assigned to three items I have to select the item welded console. Now I am in the list of items and the welded console is highlighted. I edit the item and see that the item is linked to the drawing. When I switch to the tab Bill of Material, I can see the same bomb like we have seen in the AutoCAD file. Now I can transfer the bomb to the ERP system. Thank you for listening to Autodesk.